Hey guys, in this session, we're gonna be looking at subtracting three digit numbers. As always, I'm gonna show you guys uh, kind of like the normal way, the way that I learned some while ago. Um, and yeah, let's see whichever one you find easy and uh, hopefully you can pick up something here. All right, so nothing different to what we did with the previous video in the series with adding three digit numbers. So we're just gonna subtract these numbers, but the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna stack them again in those columns. Um, so what do I mean by that? We've got um, our ones column, so that's right there. Then we've got our tens column, and then we've got our one hundreds column. And because we're actually doing subtraction, so what you and, and again, this is a really good thing to notice that whenever you're doing subtraction or addition with numbers, you always start with the ones column, um, and then you kind of go to the tens and then hundreds and so on. Um, never start at the hundreds column. Um, or like never start from the left hand side uh, you know you always want to be starting from the right hand side so here I'm going to be doing 5 take away 3 uh, which is equal to 2 and then 7 minus 2 is 5 and then 2 minus 1 is just 100, 152 now you might be wondering hey um, if I do it the other way I'm still going to get the same answer yes you're right in this case it works out um, however in the next case um, or the other cases later on, I might, I might show you another example, it might, it's not going to work out. So that's why you always start subtracting from the ones column, then to the tens, and then to the hundreds. Um, so let's say we want to actually do this one here. I just realized I forgot a number there. I'm going to put that as 137, you know, rather than, yeah. But anyway, let's have a look at it. Now, actually, you know what? I don't want to go too complex yet. Let's do one of this first, and then we'll look at the next one. So let's say we got 253 takeaway. 37 and once again if you see what I'm doing I'm stacking it um, stacking those numbers along the ones um, and the tens and of course um, the hundreds column as well Now the thing is straight away in this case we've got a problem all right we've got three minus seven and it's like hang on a minute we, 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 we haven't actually done that yet and you know how does that actually work now here's the thing I'm gonna go show you what my teacher showed me back in the 80s it was I think um, so 253 take away 37 so this is what she actually told me um, she, she kind of said this and, I, and I, once again I didn't understand it then all right what she said was this she actually said you take this um, because you're trying to do um, right here you're trying to do 3 take away 7 now you can't do 3 minus 7 so what she said was she would say borrow a 1 from this 5 I'm like what is she talking about so she would say change this 5 to a 4 and then you borrow one, and that becomes a 13. Um, and then you'd go, what? Okay, so what do you do next? And then she goes, okay, so you go 13 minus 7. So 13 minus 7 is 6. So yeah, that's all good. And then you've got 4, take away 3. So I'm talking about this 4 here now. She doesn't actually do the 5 anymore. It's 4, take away 3. And I was like, okay, that, that, that's interesting. Um, that's 1. And then you've got the 2. Well, nothing's below the 2 because that's just a 0 there. Um, so we just bring the two down. So two take away zero is just zero. And I'm like, this is this is a bit uh, different. Uh, so let's just check that first to see if we're on the right track. So we got two five three take away thirty seven. All right, two sixteen. It works. But here's the thing: I didn't understand it. What was actually happening there? You know, how did this two five three suddenly change to two four one three? Well, let's actually break this down a little bit, all right? And it'll kind of make sense um, because if you think about it, right? 253, um, what we can do is, we, we, we kind of know this, we can split this up as 200 uh, plus 50 plus 3, all right? Now, if you think about it, the number below, is, we're taking away from 37. So if we look at taking away 37, uh, there's no 100, so we don't have to worry about it. We've got a 30 here, and then we've got 7 there, because remember, 30 plus 7 is 37, right? Now, the... What she meant to say was that, you know, borrow this one from the five. But really, we're not borrowing a one. What we're actually borrowing is we're borrowing a 10. Because when we take 10 away from here and we add 10 to the three, what ends up happening is you're, what, you no longer have the 50 there because 50 take away 10 is 40. And of course, you no longer have three here because 10 plus three is actually 13. So that's pretty much how this whole thing was linked here so if you guys can see this how when that five changed to a four 
and the three actually changed to a 13. That's what actually happened. You actually borrowed, you didn't borrow a one, you actually borrowed a 10, but you, from that 50, uh, and that's why it kind of changed it. Um, are you allowed to do it this way? Absolutely, why not? Um, you know, there, there are other methods of doing this. Like I've seen people do like, um, you know, 253, take away 40 and then add three. And you can do things like that as well. Um, but ultimately what you want to do is it's just trying to show you guys a um, couple of strategies of this. But anyway, look, let's just do one more problem. Um, just, just, just so that we kind of on the same page about this. So let's try this one here. So let's go 340, I don't know, 42. Uh, take away 187. All right, well, I'm actually going to go in the deep end here, subtracting three-digit numbers, right? So what are we going to do? When we look at the 2 and 7, we can't really do anything with that 2 and 7, all right? Because 2 take away 7 doesn't work. So we're going to borrow that um, 10 from that 40, which means this is now going to change into 3. And we've got 10 plus 2, which is 12. So now we can say 12 take away 7. That's going to be 5. And guess what? We've run into the same problem because when we look at that hundreds column, which is this right here, we've got a three and we've got to take away eight from it. Um, and, pro and of course, we can't do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow a one. Sorry, not a one. We're going to actually borrow a uh, hundred from that 300, right? Because that's what's going to happen. And what ends up happening is let's actually get rid of that to a two. This becomes 13. So 13 take away 8 is, again, it's going to be 5. And then 2 take away 1 is just 1. Uh, let's just put that in the calculator very quickly just to see if we're on the right track. So we got 342 take away 187. That's lovely, 155. Brilliant. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much how you do like subtracting of um, three-digit numbers. Uh, now, look, you might have a different strategy that might actually work for you, which is absolutely fine. Uh, I'm not saying that my teachers method that she taught back in the 80s is the is the right way um, it is just um, you know as you do more practice of these questions uh, you start kind of discovering your own patterns and I think that's the most important thing is uh, you've got to pr um, practice these questions just to figure out your own patterns and how they work cool I've talked too long that's it from me thank you for watching and catch you in the next video